Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol WPRT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price had a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where it closed yesterday to where it ultimately closed up there, any rational person would say, yeah, the bulls definitely had a nice day. But that does lead into the question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area on the chart is right down here at, let's see, what is that value? Uh, $3.47. Why is $3.47 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about $3.47. Any sort of closes blow it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this big old range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or let's say the price pulls back, not saying this will happen, but let's just say that it does something like this and then the price behaves in that manner. What would you have in this situation here? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have this previous base of lows down here. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have overall stair steps headed in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. So it's all about building those higher bases, 347 being that higher base that you wanna see the bulls hold going forward. What about areas of resistance? Pretty straightforward at this point in time couple different occasions, including the, the late afternoon, the price try to get up or around and through this 380 point. Uh, but in both situations, as you can see, the, the, the bears just weren't having any of it and they knocked the bulls back down both times. So that area of the chart will be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. All in all though, no doubt about it, nice move today. Now it's just a matter of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.